Imagine undergoing surgery without pain relief. Just two centuries ago, this was the terrifying reality of medical procedures. But thanks to the discovery and evolution of anesthesia, modern medicine has transformed surgery into a painless experience. In this video I'll explore the fascinating history of anesthesia, its revolutionary advances, and take a closer look at halothane, a once popular inhalational anesthetic. Let's begin. For most of human history, surgery was a brutal ordeal. Ancient civilizations used rudimentary methods like alcohol, opium and even hypnosis to dull pain. But true anesthesia was yet to be discovered. The breakthrough came in the 19th century. In 1842, Dr. Crawford Long used diethyl ether to perform painless surgery, but it was publicly demonstrated only in 1846 by William T.G. Morton in Boston. This marked the birth of modern anesthesia. Shortly after, James Young Simpson discovered chloroform in 1847, which was used for Queen Victoria's childbirth in 1853, making it widely accepted. But both ether and chloroform had drawbacks. Ether was flammable, and chloroform carried severe cardiac risks. As medicine advanced, the need for safer, more stable inhalational anesthetics grew. This led to the development of halothane in 1951 by Charles Suckling, which revolutionized anesthesia in the mid-20th century. Halothane, a halogenated hydrocarbon, quickly became a preferred anesthetic due to its powerful effects and relative safety compared to earlier agents. So, what makes halothane special? Let's break down its properties. Potency. Halothane has a low minimum alveolar concentration, MAC, of 0.75%, comma, meaning it is highly potent. Non-flammable. Unlike ether, halothane is non-explosive, making surgeries much safer. Smooth induction and recovery. It provides a relatively smooth induction of anesthesia, reducing agitation in patients. Cardiovascular effects. However, it causes dose-dependent hypotension and bradycardia due to its depressant effect on the heart. Hepatic concerns. Halothane has been linked to halothane hepatitis, a rare but serious liver toxicity reaction. Despite its benefits, halothane use has declined due to its rare but serious liver toxicity risks. By the late 20th century, safer alternatives like isoflurane, sevoflurane, and desflurane became more popular, offering better cardiovascular stability and faster recovery times. Today, halothane is rarely used in developed countries, but still finds limited use in pediatric anesthesia and in regions where newer agents are less accessible. The evolution of anesthesia has been one of the most remarkable achievements in medical science. From painful rudimentary surgeries to today's advanced, finely controlled anesthetic techniques, we have come a long way. And while halothane's time has passed, its role in shaping modern anesthesia cannot be forgotten. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this deep dive into anesthesia, hit the like button, subscribe to Dr. Chiku, and comment below with your thoughts or questions. See you in the next video.